Welcome to our underground city. Come on in. Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Fickers. We finally have a new long-awaited project, Fickersland 3.0, which will build underground. You won't believe a whole underground city. We want to do this for several years and today they will finally start. We have a very large territory for this. I think here we can build anything. A house, a swimming pool, perhaps a sauna. Well, write in the comments what else you can build here. Wow, this is a huge pit. Will there be two floors here? No, we'll have one story house. But it's so damn deep. Well, finally, we'll have a full fledged underground house. It will be so cool here in summer. We took quite thick and durable timbers because the underground house may not be stable, walls may collapse and there can be bad consequences. Therefore we took the thickest timbers that was on the sawmill so that it was safe down under. We are designing our future house and are now thinking about how to make it waterproof. I think for this we can take plastic film and wrap the walls outside. We also want to raise our roof here at an angle from that end to this one. So here we'll have an entrance not as a hatchway but simply from the front side. We're already completing the assembly of the cube, I mean the base on which the transverse boards and our walls will be mounted. Well guys, now I'll wrap this plastic film around our walls to waterproof our house. As we have very unreliable soil here, there is sand and it can crumble, so we are making quite reliable walls. We are fastening the thick bolts with several self-tapping screws. For the time being, we just fix them with one screw. As you saw, we have very thick timber so that we don't get buried here. Well, everything is turning out great. There is such a wall that here you can take pictures. Yes, it's quite atmospheric. If we paint it in some natural color, it will be just superb. We can even leave it like this, it still looks good. And the other good thing is that there is enough space here to put a bed, a refrigerator, even a TV can be put here. I mean, here you can equip a room for a full stay. If you like this project and we will continue further, then here we'll have a door to the next building. We can make a tunnel or a lot of interesting things. We have a great enthusiasm. Well, the third version of Ficus Land is gonna be super cool. So write in the comments what you want to see in our new underground Ficus Land. Personally, I want to cover this house later with soil and make flower bed at the top. We'll make the house like a real one. We took a real window and want to mount it in the roof of our future underground house so that we can lie down and watch the rain dripping, the stars shining at night or something else like that. So we can walk on it now? I don't know. I think it can withstand me, but your 200 kgs, I'm not sure. 200? Well, see so you can walk here. See how cool the window looks here. It will look more cool when we'll cover everything around with soil. I'll plant flowers here and so it will be like a flower bed window. Wow, it sounds something. And how cool it will be to take pictures from the inside, yeah? Yes, that's right. As you can see, we have already begun to decorate the house, but this is preliminary. Tomorrow we plan to finish this house and give you a tour inside. We usually use a periscope in our underground houses, but this time we decided to use a video camera. Now sitting in the underground house, we can observe what is happening around the house. Look how Sergei painted the walls and how much more cozy and atmospheric it is now here. We also put pallets on the floor so that the floor isn't cold and if we put carpets there, they don't become wet. We thought for a very long time what to do with our ceiling and we came to the conclusion that it would be nice to make our own self-made stretch ceiling. We already have some ideas on how to do this. Ooh, 
I made it from a what I had. Is it water pipe? No, it's an extractor hood. Since our house is under the ground, there will be a lot of moisture. Also, it may not be very much, but in any case, we'll need air, clean, fresh air. I found a fan that is powered by power band. Can you imagine? We won't need to do any wiring. This is how I want to put it. You see how cool it gets in our house. The painted walls and grass add so much atmosphere and coziness to our house. So from this we should get a smooth, even ceiling. Sergei came up with how to do this, so if we fail, he will be to blame. Let's go try it now. It's just oil cloth, by the way. Yes, this is an ordinary white oil cloth. Wow, check it out! Look how the oil cloth shines through, but when we'll fill it with soil on top, it won't shine through it. The entire light source will be from this window. Well, see how smoothly and beautifully it's done. Actually, Fikas didn't know, but I protected our house from dust and moisture with another layer of insulation. We'll now lay out the thin oil cloth and only then we'll cover it with soil. Alright guys, it remains a little to finish our house, it will be completed soon, then I can give you a tour of it. Our house isn't very large, but it is the largest of those that we have ever built underground, I mean in area. Welcome to our underground city. Come on in. So you are now in the very first room of our future rooms that will be in our underground Ficus land. This room turned out to be 14 square meters. It is the largest underground room we have ever made. It turned out to be like some kind of a coffee shop because there are such pastel shades here like blue and olive which looks a bit like yellow. By the way, the room turned out to be quite warm. In this room we have a bedroom. We decided not to put a lot of furniture here because we still have a lot of ideas for other rooms and this is the way which will lead to them. We haven't put the door here yet, we just hung up the curtain. Here we'll have a door to our next rooms. Well, now like a real estate agent, I will review this room. So I'll start with the bed. It is soft and basically a single bed, but two person can also accommodate. We also have lighting. It is autonomous because it is powered by solar panels. We also have beautiful paintings. Most importantly, we have an extractor hood because there must be good ventilation underground. We turn it on and this thing pulls bad air out and we get fresh air inside. Another highlight of this room is the skylight. It is now fashionable to make glass roofs in shopping malls and there is also a window from which you can look at the rain. Imagine you stand here and raindrops dripping on the glass. It will be so damn cool. I really wanted to make the communications in this video. I wanted to make a rain conduit, it's a savage system in our underground house. It sounds so funny. Fikis and I decided that in the next videos we will make kitchen and do it all at once. We'll make all communications here and there. I want it to rain so we can check the moisture isolation and the whole house in general. Guys, we have a real underground house. Maybe we can spend a night here? Well, write in the comments what you want to see behind this door in the next videos. Personally, I want there to be a pool next week so that we can come out of it, turn on the TV on this wall, lie in bed and just relax. Although we can't see the courtyard through this window, we have other eyes. It's a video camera. We can simply see on the phone what is happening in the yard. We're sitting right here in the corner right now. If there are any movements in the yard, we'll receive a notification. By the way, here it even catches the network. 
It's always difficult at first, so we need your support. Hit the thumbs up button right now so that we can understand that you are waiting for the continuation. Everything is in your hands. There's a cool adventure awaits you and us, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for new videos. It was interesting and pick us with you. See you next Sunday. Blah, blah.